and we bring in our friend Robert Flores doing an outstanding job covering the Texas Rangers. Marcus Simeon's a great player, Robert, but he's really struggled this postseason. Finally, last night, he awoke. What's been the key to his turnaround? Well, I think it's just been perseverance. First of all, he's a guy that's always going to be in the lineup. There's no doubt about that. He's consistently one of the most durable and reliable players, and he's certainly been that for the Texas Rangers. But on a day where they learned that Adolis Garcia was going to be out for the rest of the series, Marcus Simeon's breakout game, if you will, was certainly welcome. Two extra base hits, including that home run to stake that Rangers, the Rangers out to a 10-0 lead. In fact, uh, Simeon, uh, two extra base hits, five RBIs, including a homer. Those five RBIs from the leadoff spot tied for the most in a World Series game since your boy Dan Gladden way back in 1987 and the great Davey Lopes did it in World Series play. Look at the splits, the first 15 games of the 2023 postseason as opposed to the first three innings of game four. This is what Simeon had to say about his performance last night. Yeah, it's big. You know, I want to I want to contribute like that. You know, baseball is tough, though. So you're going to have stretches where you just don't. But, you know, Adolis was going off. Corey's been going off. Um, Josh Young quietly hitting over 300. Um, we're a deep group. So if one guy's not getting it done, somebody else is picking picking up the slack. Um, but I continue to work as hard as I possibly can to get back in the zone, you know, and for me, those two at-bats were huge. Hey, and don't forget about Travis Jankowski's two hits in the nine holes, so you kind of get that extra added leadoff boost from Jankowski. Now, Jose LeClerc, yes, he did only pitch 10, in it, 10 pitches yesterday, as you take a good look at Travis Jankowski, but in a game where the, the Rangers led 10-0 at one point, some might have been a little surprised that Jose LeClerc would have saw action in the game. And that would be among them Jose LeClerc, who said afterwards, yeah, I was a little bit surprised. Now the Ranger closer has not pitched in three consecutive games since 2019. But Bruce Bochy just a few moments ago says LeClerc feels fine, he feels good. And of course, unsurprisingly, Jose LeClerc will be available. So you're getting the sense that that Rangers bullpen and that circle of trust for Bruce Bochy starting to get tighter and tighter. But Jose LeClerc may be the last one left in that circle of trust. So if the Rangers have a lead late in this game, you can bet he's going to be in there. Good stuff, Robert. Excellent concentration.